Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans. In today's video, I'm going to be planning the week of April 20th through April 26th in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. Now, my original plans for this week, as most of you I'm sure are aware within the planner community, were going to be far different. This was supposed to be the week of Go Wild in California. Um, and just obviously a lot of the things that are going on around in the world have um, delayed that from happening. So I kind of didn't know how I was gonna approach this week and then I was thinking, you know what? I kind of want to almost like, um, almost do like a go wild week anyway, like go wild sort of. I know that there's going to be some events um, or I should say online events for the ticket holders group. So it's going to be like go wild sort of this week um, through the various online events. So I thought it would be cool to still sort of uh, decorate for that. So here is this current week. In fact, I still haven't gone back and filled some things out for the week, but I, I still have some time for that. It is currently Sunday um, when I am filming this. So I actually just got off the phone with the airlines to cancel my flights for this week. It was not a pleasant experience, let me tell you that. So anyway, if you are watching this video and you're like, what the hell is Go Wild? I don't know what you're talking about. It sounds like something out of this world, because it is. It is truly one of the most epic, or the most epic, I should say, planner conferences in existence at this point. Yes, that is my own personal opinion, but I truly believe it because it just, I walk away from that event every single year, just, it's life-changing. So. It is an annual planner conference held in different areas every year throughout the United States. It is ran by Wild for Planners. If you wanna see more information, I will link their website down below. You can view some videos of previous years. I cry every time I watch them, there's that. So, how am I gonna decorate this week? What are we gonna do? Because Go Wild isn't actually happening, but I want to still do this wild week, sort of. So, I pulled out some older kits that I still had pieces of, like from Erin Condren. I have just some other samplers that I grabbed from Chrissy and Designs. They're not Go Wild specific, but I just tried to grab some things. I really wanted to implement some swag from the previous years, but as most of you know, our house is on the market during the most unfortunate time ever, but um, our house is on the market and a lot of my things have been packed away to sort of um, just kind of prep for all of that. So. Um, I also grabbed, because I ordered a ridiculous amount of stickers for Go Wild this year from um, Chrissy and Designs. I also have some from Capital Chic Designs. I'm not going to use those though because those are for, um, specifically for the speakers. And obviously since that's not happening, I am not using anything that's specific to Go Wild actually happening this week. So what I decided to do in looking through my um, Chrissy and Designs order here, which by the way, now this means you just have more time to order all of your stickers and decorative stuff for Go Wild for when it does happen. But I noticed that I had an extra kit. Um, I have an hourly and a vertical or personal size kit, I should say, from Chrissy and Designs that I was going to use some elements of this without um, using things like, you know, that we're actually going to go well because that's not happening. So now that I've talked your ear off for just over three minutes, um, I think what I want to do is use the date covers. Let's start with the date covers there. So let's see, the week starts on the 20th. I always say I'm going to use tweezers on this part, but sometimes just grabbing it with my fingers works just as well. Um, so like I was saying, I just canceled my flights. That was not a fun experience. I had insurance on both flights. I had two flights, um, obviously getting there and coming back. Um, and one was super easy to cancel. And then the other airline, not so much. They were kind of giving me the runaround. And then they said to call the insurance company because I always get insurance on my flights and then that insurance company was like we're not refunding anything related to coronavirus and I was like I'm sorry what <laughs> um that was a bit shocking and obnoxious and I started to go through the process with them and I was like you know what I'm just gonna call the airline back and and talk to them because this just and look at that I was already messing up the dates 
I said, this just doesn't seem right. You know, um, as a government employee, first of all, I'm not even allowed to travel right now. <laughs> um, so this is definitely out of my hands. And even if if I wasn't a government employee, I wouldn't be traveling. I wouldn't be traveling. It just doesn't make sense right now, right? So um, even with explaining to them that I was an essential employee, I worked for the military, all of this stuff, they were not having it. They were like, yeah, sorry about your luck. So uh, anyway, let's, let's circle back around. I have such a hard time focusing. <laughs> I know you guys already know this, but... Um, so I called the airline back and it turns out throughout everything that's been happening, especially in the month of March, my flight kept changing. I kept seeing, seeing the emails like, oh, your flight's been updated, blah, 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 blah. I had a much more helpful employee that was like, oh, because your flights were changed so many times and multiple times the changes were over an hour in time difference that automatically had me qualifying for a refund. So I didn't have to go through the insurance, it all worked out. Now we just wait, because I guess, you know, there's a backlog, understandably, people are canceling things left and right. So I was glad that I was able to take care of that, because I was like, okay, it's not like I go flying to California very often. This was actually going to be my very first time. So while I wasn't upset if I would have just gotten a credit, it was like I couldn't even get a credit to begin with. Um, or the credit was like, you have to use it within X amount of time. And I'm like, um, how is anyone giving you like a time restriction right now? Like nobody knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, let alone a year from now. You know what I mean? So that's where I was a little bit like, I don't know. And I don't fly enough to know the ins and outs of dealing with these kinds of things. So for someone like me, I, I think I was getting a little bit more frustrated because I was like, why can't you just refund me? Why is this so hard? <laughs> you know, um, I, I don't. I fly maybe once, maybe twice a year, tops. I'm not a fan of flying, it's just not my thing. So I thought it'd be fun to use this Stay Wild um, from, it was from, this is from Austin. Yes, it says it right here on the sheet, duh. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put that on this side. And this is gonna be another week where we don't have much going on, obviously. But um, I'm still loving using the space in my planner to sort of document the things that are going on and, and things like that. So my nails right now are a complete disaster and I truly do not care. We've just been um, cleaning. I had like a moment where I had like so much anxiety. I ripped off what little nail polish was on my fingernails. I was like, I don't know why I keep trying to paint my nails. I don't know why at this point, <laughs> but I do. It's, it's, yeah, it's just what I keep doing. So, all right, so there is that. I actually like the way that that looks. I need to figure out what to use to cover this up right here. And I did grab, I used my little reusable sticker book from Once More With Love to pull some stickers. So I might actually just cover it up with a large Chrissy Ann Designs full box and then figure out to put like a quote or something there or even better, I might just put this llama up in that box. I grabbed various things from different sticker sheets just to see what would work. And since we're kind of playing, paying tribute to Go Wild, this might work. That actually looks pretty cute and it's got like these holographic details on it. So I think that's pretty neat. All right, <laughs> that I'm actually liking how this is turning out. It's making me um, a hell of a lot less sad. So I also wanted to use these strips right here with the quotes and I think I'm going to put it just below the or at the 6 a.m. mark so that I still have the time up there or the space up there to put the weather and I'm just going to center it. I'll have to cut off all of the extra. So there we go. Let's see, what else is going on in my world? Um, Thursday, I actually have my um, six month diagnostic mammogram and ultrasound fun things. Um, I've mentioned it before, I actually have a lump or an area that's being watched and has been being watched now for three years. I'm really hoping that this is the very last 
ultrasound scan nonsense that I have to go through because um, I've been going every six months for three years and it's because they just kind of want to keep an eye on it. Sometimes there was a change, sometimes there wasn't. And hopefully at this one they will decide what it is that they truly want to do. Are we done looking at it? Are we going to go ahead and just biopsy it? I'm, I'm leaning towards let's just go ahead and biopsy it. I'm tired of looking at this thing. <laughs> You know, and I just, I just want to move forward with my life, if that makes <laughs> any sense. So, um, all right, so let's get started on this incredibly non-eventful week. Uh, let's see, we do have HelloFresh coming on Monday, but only because I forgot to cancel. I might want to use this one? That's a bit much just to mark HelloFresh coming, but the stuff's expensive, so maybe I should, <laughs> should mark it that way. That's a bit much. Let's see if we can find something else in these samplers. Maybe, maybe not. I might have to dig into, let's see, or I could just borrow one from here. Lord knows I ordered enough, enough stuff. I really did order quite a bit. Uh, let's see. We will do this pink and then this noted. Because every year I order way more than I need for the entire week, way more. I definitely don't want to use any of these full decorative things because that is for that specific weekend. I'm going to save the weekend sticker because I don't think I have another one. And I'm just trying to not put myself in a position where I'm gonna have to order again. I really don't want to do that, so or place another order. Let's see, we'll put it right about here. That HelloFresh is being delivered. That's for that. And then I want to mark or put a spot for videos. And of course, this one that you're watching today is the plan with me. And I just pulled these from various Erin Condren sticker books. There's that right there I guess and then on Wednesday I'm sure you've heard several people announcing or talking about that they will be reviewing the new planners that are coming out I will also be uploading a review of some of the new items I'm not extremely I'm not entirely sure exactly what is coming my way so I don't want to say something and then not have it turn out that way, but I'm gonna mark it with this ginormous Erin Condren planner, and I took this from another Erin Condren kit. Did I take it from this kit? It was another kit like this, um, another weekly kit that I took it from. No, it wasn't, it was from a sticker book. I don't know, don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be, so I'm going to be posting the review of that, and I found also from another kit, from Erin Condren, these little glasses, but I'm gonna cut around them because I cannot stand the amount of white around this sticker. It's kind of driving me crazy. So I'm gonna cut around that really quick as best as I can. All right, that's actually not too bad. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus for once, but that looks a lot better than having that extra stuff everywhere. Whoops, okay. And I'm just gonna put that, um, maybe right here. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so before I forget what's what, I'm gonna mark, oh, I need to put down Friday's video, which hopefully is a daily, Petite plan with me. Speaking of daily things, um, I really, I need to move that up. This should be right here. I am really, really, really curious about the daily, I keep wanting to call it a daily petite, but about the daily that's on the coil. I know of a few people that are getting it to review, um, and I, um, I'm, I'm really worried about my daily petite planner situation, you guys. I know that it sounds ridiculous, but um, yeah, I just don't know 
what I'm gonna do because I love my daily petite planner, but oh my gosh, do I love a coil. Um, from what we've heard so far from Erin Condren herself on her Instagram lives is that it's going to come on a coil. It's going to come in two planners, so six months at a time. Um, I think they're gonna have like some different specials or things like that, but I think you get to personalize one cover and then the other one is automatically going to be the colorful layers stuff like that there's just so much coming out but i even though i know of course i'm never going to give up my hourly life planner i am considering dropping my daily petite for the daily on the coil just because one it gives it gives another use for all of the interchangeable covers that i have um and two i love just having something that you can fold on itself like that is why i've never left the coil planner like being able to just fold it on itself is a big deal to me. Now obviously the drawback to a coil is not being able to take pages in and out, but you can't do that with the Daily Petite anyway. This is just me sort of talking out my feelings about all of these things. Okay, so I do want to mark, let's see, I might, it's like I wanna keep incorporating elements from the Chrissy Ann Designs kit, but I don't wanna use um, too much from that kit, but I kind of have to. So <laughs> let's see what else we could use. I might just stick to using things from, well, there's not any event labels on here, so that could make it kind of tough. So I might have to use a couple from here, but let me look back and just make sure I have enough. Well, I might have to, yeah, there's not a lot that I could use. But I'm only going to use, let's see, one, two, three. I may just use three event labels. I'm already like panicking, like, <laughs> is that gonna be enough? Do I need to ration these out some more? Do I really need to use those? Maybe I don't. I did pull these Erin Condren stickers here. I probably just need to go ahead and use those. Um, let's see, let's put the different, the two paydays on these. I really like the cover, colors of these. This is from the Kaleidoscope sticker book. And it really does match the um, Chrissy and Designs kit. So I'll probably just use these. But I think I'm gonna have to write with a permanent marker for the paydays so that they actually stay. Okay, that really didn't work at all, writing on that metallic surface there. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see it, but not really. Ugh, it is what it is, my friends. And then this is just my regular payday. This is my social media payday. And then regular payday. Which, let me tell you, I was talking to a girlfriend of mine. I've never been so happy to have a little side hustle. <laughs> In case you guys don't know, um, our daughter does live with us, but she has been laid off from both of her part-time jobs. And while there are things like unemployment benefits and things like that, it's just not the full amount. So I have never been more thankful to have a little bit something extra to help with my family. It, it Yeah, it's just been, it's, I'm very, very, very thankful and just, yeah, super grateful that we have that to, extra to lean on. All right, so I want to use a sticker for, let's see my doctor's appointment on Thursday, which was at nine o'clock, so we'll put it right about here. And I think I put that down really crooked. I think it'll be okay. So there is that, and while I have this marker out, we're going to mark the HelloFresh business over here. Okay, so there's that, and then I want to also put down the dates that I am. Let me see if in my Erin Condren stickers, if I have some other colors to pull for, and I do, more of like this peachy orange event label stickers so that I'm not using up all of my <laughs> Chrissy and Design stuff for next year or later this year. I don't know what's going on with dates, but um, we haven't heard anything yet, which is why I'm, I'm really hesitant to use things up because I know it's still gonna happen, just don't know exactly when. So trying to be flexible. Okay, so these are gonna be my editing nights here. And then I do want to put down my um, 
the little meal planning stickers that I use pretty much weekly from Planner Kate, my knife and fork stickers. Love these things. I finally ordered a backup sheet because I was like, ooh, this is making me nervous. <laughs> that I was I was getting kind of low. So I don't know what order we're gonna do meals in just yet, but I still wanna put them down in their um, respective spots. All right, and then I think another sticker that I wanted to put down just to maybe tie in some of the blue that I put over here, maybe I'll add some more over there later on, but I did want to add a This Week sticker over here. And I'm trying to think of what else we have going on this week. Honestly, there's not a whole lot, and I do want to leave some space for any of the online events that are happening for this week for uh, Go Wild, <laughs> since it's not actually happening in real life, but we're going to do some things online. So. If you are a ticket holder and you're in the ticket holders group, I look forward to seeing you there. Unfortunately, if you're not a ticket holder, you will not be able to participate, but um, yeah, I, I'm really appreciative that Team Wild is doing something for us because I know it's it's kind of, you know, a lot of us, this is our like one trip of the year, so it's, it's kind of a bummer that it's been postponed, but obviously understandable given the circumstances. It's really cool that they're doing something for us online anyway, which just speaks volumes of, you know, the things that the team um, will do for their ticket holders. It is just, it's a phenomenal event in person and they're just gonna knock it out of the park trying to give us a little something extra online. So. Um, that is all I'm gonna plan for right now. I wanna leave space to sort of add some memories in here and things like that. If you are or were attending Go Wild this week, I should say, um, I'd love to hear how you're planning your week out. Are you using stickers from Go Wild or that you were going to use for this week? Um, and, and yeah, just let me know how you're doing. I really love having that discussion in the comments. I know that we're all different living in different areas of the country, experiencing different things right now as each state decides what they're gonna do and when. So just uh, let me know how you're doing. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.